Hello everybody, welcome to tutorial number 8. On this tutorial we're going to add some equipments, just simple equipments. Um, we're just going to add, not going to add any piping or anything and on the next uh, video, uh, tutorial number 9, we're going to actually create a custom uh, equipment uh, with a predefined shape. Um, so let's get started with this one. Uh, so at this point everybody should have this little um, this little uh, structure going on so you should have your platforms your structural members your footings your railings your ladder and last but not least your uh, stairs so uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to hide everything but our grid so again um, you can do that from the structure ribbon or we're gonna just do it from the home ribbon just just to see where else you can do it at so under home ribbon and there's also visibility palette here as well so we're just gonna click on the very middle one hide others and everything should be hidden so the first thing we're going to do is add, the t add a tank we want to add the tank in this open area this open square area that we, that we left um, open and so the first thing we need to do is we need to move our user defined coordinate system uh, to that plane so that is our is going to be where it's added because right now it's at the top as you remember we added the platform to do that go ahead and just click on the little uh, access um, user defined uh, coordinate system indicator and just grab the very middle grip there and just drag it to the second from the bottom point of the grid just like I have done here so now this is our XY plane and that's where we want it to work at okay so um, usually when you're given to uh, ask to put equipment somewhere you're gonna be given um, its, its, its location from a grid line so let's per se here my grid line uh, it could be uh, it could be said that okay so add a pump that's uh, center point is 500 millimeters from a grid B toward grid C and let's say 500 millimeter from from what is it one toward two or something like that or you can see that in the picture so right now we want to add it just right in the middle of this one so the best thing for us to do would be to draw a line so we can snap onto the midpoint of the line which would make our life so much easier so let's go ahead and create a um, layer first I have already made mine so uh, go ahead click on layer properties again layer properties are also available under the home ribbon and layers go ahead and click on the layer properties and click on the new layers and let's create a new one called equipments uh, put the color to color number 40 so you know it's easy to see orange okay and double click on it to make it uh, the current layer and let's cross it and get out so we're gonna draw a line I'm gonna show you a different way of drawing a line uh, because we're going to be also starting to work with the, the modeling ribbon so go ahead and go to the modeling ribbon and as you get to the modeling ribbon you would see a palette called draw now there's a lot of options uh, well some of them you can use a lot of them and we can when we will but uh, usually the best way to learn is just hover over there uh, it says uh, three point creates an arc using three points oh that's pretty useful so um, if you just uh, kind of stay over it for a bit uh, the secondary explanation opens up and it's actually pretty self-explanatory and if you do want you can press F1 and the help is actually very very expansive so we're just going to use the line command so we're gonna create a line again getting to have it up uh, reading the command prompt it says specify first point so what we're gonna do gonna choose the midpoint of this line here and then our second point is gonna be midpoint of this line here so either press enter to get out or press escape actually escape might also delete the line that you just drawn just try enter and so we are ready to place our equipment okay so let's go ahead and do that so go back to the home tab and let's go over to this little uh, palette here called equipment so we're going to click on create equipment 
and this little uh, dialog window should pop up on that um, you would have our first this drop down menu um, and then there's a lot of options we can choose so currently just 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 right now when you choose a uh, vessel and under vessel we're going to choose a vertical vessel okay so then it should populate like so here you can see kind of a, a 3d representation of your vessel here uh, let's go ahead and click on equipment if it's not already selected under shapes um, Tory spirit head and the top then you get to see the middle cylinder and the bottom so first of all we're going to decide what's going to be our uh, let's per se our diameter so let's click on the Tory spirit part head and so we change the dimension here to 3000 and then click on the cylinder click on the D D means the diameter obviously we're gonna have to keep it the same so let's make it 3000 and H is obviously the height that's without your uh, heads and the bottoms um, so make that 3000 and the height 7000 let's click on number three under shapes and again you have to define the what do you call the head at uh, the diameter of your just where head but from the bottom so perfect now we're done with the shape bit and now under general uh, you should have a it's just a vertical vessel and tag go ahead and click on the tag it's good it's a good practice to always um, assigning the tag right when you draw uh, or create an equipment Th this will save you a lot of headache and you know what if, if you want later on you can always change it so just type one on number tank is TK go ahead assign it should so TK001 um, and then you can say elevation where do you want the elevation to be okay so let's think about this uh, okay so we are going we don't want it at all the way at the bottom to the to the ground so we want the elevation to be I think ours was I think mine was a meter was it a meter no it was 500 millimeter okay let's go ahead and make the elevation 500 millimeter and let's see the very last thing is properties <sighs> we're gonna leave this alone for now um here you can enter more information about material manufacturer and if it was pre-designed you will have all that information and um it would also let you change uh, the description and the nozzles and all that jazz but we're gonna just ignore that just keep it as is for now let's go back to equipment and i just realized something we should probably make it a little bit uh smaller in height okay why don't we just do six thousand is uh, six thousand still be good enough let's make the six thousand for height and let's go ahead and click create and now as you can see uh, there's a tank stuck to your cursor so let's now take this uh, tank and put it on the midpoint of this little bugger here the line we drew and let's turn it 90 degrees now as as you can see once you have uh, snapped onto the uh, reference point now you get to choose which sort of rotation do you want where do you want your uh, your tank to be which way facing I, I know it's a tank but uh, you do have nozzles so we I want the nozzles to face this way toward um, toward line a B uh, as you can see the nozzle you can kinda probably see okay let's go ahead and click again and that should lock it in here you can see the nozzles or one nozzle here and so that's that and now you can go ahead and delete the line but or you can just keep it for now uh, maybe we'll have to move it again the second thing we're going to do is we're going to add a add a pump okay so again you would have dimensions of uh, how far does it need to be from a certain grid point so go ahead let's uh, let's go ahead and draw a um, line that would define how far away it needs to be okay so let's let's say we wanted 500 millimeter this way so let's go and type 500 enter okay maybe 500 is too little escape to get out uh, let's just 
to uh, one okay here is a good point so if I right now I've showed you guys before I type in line enter and I say okay specify the first point now if I control and right click I get to choose uh, only a very specific uh, snap-on point so let's choose a very specific snap-on point where is the nearest nearest is what I'm looking for there we go so the nearest so what what this one does it's if you're close to a line it, it would just keep it there so let's choose this line and then we're gonna go and become perpendicular to that line over there and that's it press escape to get out and let's take a look at the line do you see what I've done it's actually nicely little nicely snapped on um, to the perpendicularly to the other one because we had our on the snap on we had turned on perpendicular which is very useful okay so let's go ahead and add this so we're gonna go back to the home tab and under equipment we're going to create another equipment so let's go ahead and click on that so let's go back to the drop down menu and we're going to choose a pump okay let's choose a centrifugal pump click on that uh, long description um, you can add a long description if you want uh, we can just call it pump pump uh, tag again let's get into habit of always assigning the tag and we're gonna assign number one to it and we're gonna keep this as is because we're not sure exactly what size of uh, certificate pump we're gonna need because we don't have any specification again under properties there is a lot more option to change and add information uh, you would do that if it was already pre-designed and you have chosen your pump and you know the dimensions of it let's go back to equipment so everything is good let's click on create now it's going to ask me to snap onto a point okay so let's snap onto this midpoint here perfect now it's again giving me the option of rotating around uh, our XY axis usually that that's what it will do so wherever your user defined XY axis is it will let you uh, rotate around that when you add a brand new equipment so let's say we want it there um, so let just snap it on to from there to there and click OK and it's added perfect now we're going to do uh, is add another pump okay so to do this let's go ahead make sure our uh, user-defined uh, coordinate system is there and we're going to go ahead and click on the top now if your top is showing up like this and you don't like it just grab this little uh, gizmo wheel thingy and kind of rotate most of the way <coughs> close to the view as you can and then just click on top again it should align perfectly okay so let's select this pump and we're going to mirror it this is going to be one of our uh, first introduction to the modeling and 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 modify uh, palette so under modeling tab let's go to modify and if you drop down modify again same thing goes for all of this ones if you just go to one of these uh, icons and just hover first it will be a small description then it will pop up and become big one so that's actually pretty useful so we're gonna go ahead and use this uh, after press pressing okay let's show that again under modeling modify press the drop down and we're going to use mirror so once you have already selected the object and then if you press mirror it's going to ask you to specify the first point of mirror line we're going to choose the center point and then it's going to ask you to specify the second point of the mirror line so let's proceed if I were to choose it here it's going to do something weird so I'm just going to choose it here so it just mirrors um, around that line and choose your second point then it's always going to ask you erase the source object and here we don't want to so we're gonna click on no and done uh, okay so the another way I'm just gonna quickly show that um, this goes for a lots of other commands if, if if object is not selected and then you choose mirror then you will ask you to ch choose this object first I'm gonna choose the object just because you can choose more than one object so you gotta press enter to go into the next phase of the um, of the input then it's gonna ask you to choose the first mirror point I'm gonna choose that choose the second mirror point just that click on no bam done let's take a look at this here and 
Oh, perfect. It looks pretty good. Okay, I'm going to keep it at that for this video. I have already gone on for a bit. And so I will see you guys on the next one where we're going to create our custom equipment from uh, existing shape. Okay.